so powerful. Amen. Leif, we want, to, we want to hear you, Leif. And uh, I know that's uh, what I love the most about your ministry. It's the revelation of the love of the Father. And every time I was in a meeting with you, like, that is so crazy, the, the revelation of that. And my question is, is there a connection between the healing and the love of the Father and the revelation of the love of the Father? <laughs> yeah, it, it is definitely a, a very, very clear. Uh, I was just sitting and thinking about just as a Baptist pastor in Norway on June 6, 1995, when I had a baptism of the Holy spirit experience when dr randy clark prayed for me and uh, that was uh, 25 years ago and i said there's two things that probably brought more transformation except for my salvation one was the baptism of the holy spirit and fire and for about two hours he took this baptist pastor and just rewired me and then five years later i had a baptism of love experience mm. And I'm so grateful for both of those two encounters when the liquid love of Papa just came over me and touched the deepest root fear in my life. And this audible voice from heaven that says, Leif, you are my, and you are my beloved. You're my beloved son whom I love and whom I am well pleased. Something shifted before that healing was a problem. Now it was a promise. Before then I was an achiever. Now I could be a receiver. And even in regard to the nation, I remember I was going to Pakistan right afterwards and something had changed in my heart because I genuinely loved Muslims. And I realized I had authority over what I love. And something just started to change in the atmosphere when I came from a place where I genuinely loved people. The way that the father loved me, I started to love people. It changed the atmosphere and the environment. And since then, the fruit that has come as a result of it, there's been such a transformation. And I thought about one little story, and that was one of the top, it would be in the Saudi stream of Islam, one of the top religious leaders. I had been to his headquarters, and we found out that his son had fallen down and was quadriplegic because during Ramadan that year, he had fallen down and broken his neck. And I went there and I prayed and, and prayed and I hoped, oh, Jesus, you have an opportunity to bring glory to the Father. And nothing happened. And it was one of those mysteries, but also I was very disappointed. I was thinking, well, Jesus, if you had healed him, I would get all this favor and the door would be open up. And then later on, the Holy Spirit whispered to me and says, Leif, why do you always love with an agenda? And I sat there in Islamabad at Marriott Hotel and I started to weep that afternoon And then I just realized, I said, Father, I, I do not know how to love the way you love. And I had another encounter with love sitting there at Maria with his liquid love came. And right afterwards, 50 minutes afterwards, this Muslim leader he called on the phone. He says, where is Dr. Leif? And I was thinking, my name is Leif. And he said, he just visited my headquarter, which is in a totally different city. And he visited, he said, I'm going to the hospital. And they just took my son off ventilator. And then I felt the father said, this was just like a little glass of love compared to the ocean of love that I'm about to pour out. So I just sensing that uh, there's a freedom when you have an A plus on your report card before you take the exam. And that's exactly what the father does. Even before I've done anything, the father is already well pleased with me. So I don't live from pressure, but the father's pleasure. And as a result of that, we see much more healings and freedom taking place because free people set people free. Change people changes and bring changes to people. And this comes from his love. When his perfect love takes away fear. And I think this is what he is about to do is he's releasing a tsunami wave of love around the world where people are going to know how good Papa God is and the goodness and kindness is going to lead to mass repentance. So I am, yes, I'm being overwhelmed by his love and whatever overwhelms us, shapes us in this season. Amen. Can you release the baptism?